the present problem is of gate uh, 2010 is of uh, 2 marks and uh, basically this problem is on power spectral instead uh, first we read out the problem here xt is the stationary process with power spectral density sxf greater than 0 for all f the process is passed through a system shown below this is the system through which this process is passed let uh, SYF be the power spectral density of YT. This YT, power spectral density of YT, and which of the following statement is correct, like SYF is greater than or uh, greater for all F uh, or uh, SYF equals to 0. I think this is 0. And uh, 0 for uh, for F greater than 1 kilohertz, SYF is equal to 0 for F, this SYF is equal to 0 for F, and there are four options here. So we can look into uh, this problem. Uh, this is uh, the process where XT uh, is the stationary process uh, which is passed through this. Uh, one arm is passed through a delay of 0.5 milliseconds and this is uh, the other arm is directly coming over here and then then there is adder here and giving the output here and then there is a uh, uh, differential operator uh, d by dt and then we get an yt so this is the basic problem uh, now we can uh, start uh, uh, to see that uh, uh, how to uh, give the solution to this problem uh, XT is said to be an stationary process with power spectral density of SXF. It's given here, and the value for SXF uh, is given to be zero for all f, and SYF is the power spectral density of the output yt. Now uh, we can solve this problem. We can also apply the Laplace transform, or you can solve it through using the Fourier transform. Here uh, we have done it uh, using the Fourier transform. Uh, we uh, presume here, say xt is the input, say y1t is the output here and this is the yt is the output uh, at the final output. So uh, we can say y1t is equal to xt plus xt minus 0.5 into 10 power minus 3 because of this delay. Okay. Now uh, y1f would be xf and then we are taking the Fourier transform on either side so y1f is equal to xf 1 plus e to the power minus j 2 by f 0.5 10 power minus 3 and uh, we know that uh, uh, because this is y1f h1f can be written in y1f over x1f so y1 over f this comes out to 1 plus e to the power minus j pi f into 10 by 3 now we have to find the yt so hf is equal to h1f into h2f so we can apply e to power j 2 pi f is because of the dy d, dy dt function because of dy dt function so this is uh, you can uh, look for this j 2 pi f into the other one 1 minus e to power j pi f 0.5 into this then uh, we get hf squared uh, would be uh, 4 pi square f squared 1 minus 2 they are squaring then we get uh, this simplified function now uh, we see on the other sheet uh, the solution continue we know syf is uh, hf mod squared into SX, sxf then syf is equal to hf square mod square will already found and then sxf is given so, uh, if you notice from this expression that for f equals to 2n plus 1 into f naught, where f naught is 1 kilohertz, which is given, then pi into f in 10 pi minus 3 is an odd multiple of pi. And once it is an odd multiple of pi, it will be uh, negative. And because of this negative here, minus 1, it will be plus 1, so it will be 0. The value of s y f. Uh, would be zero. So the option D uh, is the right choice here.
what is dropping. Okay, thank you.